everyone, this is Sin and welcome back to my channel Stampin' Munchkins. Today is a Grads of Team Tiny Lucky Hop. Just use that hashtag and you'll find all of us hopping. Here's what we're using today. Lawn Fawn Oliver's Alphabet. Lawn Fawn Little Gnome's Stamp. Lawn Fawn's Hillside Pop-Up and Grass. Pink Fresh Rainbow. Lawn Fawn Grass and Cloudy Stencils. Lawn Fawn's Village Hero using those two clouds and the dies. Lawn Fawn Rub a Dub Dub Stamps. And Lawn Fawn Knit Picky Paper Pad. Waffle Flower Media Mat. Water Media Mat. Accent 120 pound cardstock, Memento Tuxedo Black, VersaFine Claire in Nocturne, Distress Oxide in Tumbled Glass, Shabby Shutters, Mowed Lawn and Crushed Olive, Lawn Fawn Liquid Stardust, Stickles, Moon Dust in Nouveau, Blending Tools, Tim Holt Scissors and Pick, um, Tweezers, Mini Misty and Creative Corner, Score Buddy and Teflon Bone Folder, Guillotine Trimmer, and the Copics. Everything will be listed below for easy shopping. Oh, and my Lawn Fawn Glue Tube. So I made a stencil using my Cricut Design Space, and it isn't the greatest, or else I would share my SVG file with you, but I just uh, used Accent. Um, cardstock to cut it because I wanted to see if I liked it before I make a stencil out of it and it's okay <laughs> so now I'm using the outside in stitched rectangle from Lawn Fawn for the front of the card and I'm using the stencil that I made and I'm using the I believe it's Moonstone again everything will be linked below and my plastic palette to put the glitter um, through the stencil and I'm just going to put it on the side to dry and now I'm doing the pink fresh rainbow dye and I don't care about that corner because I'm just using a few of the rainbow rings and I'm putting washi tape on the back so it stays together and I just want the rings not the outside and I'm coloring them using the colors Copic colors listed um, on the screen but again it will be listed below as per usual and I'm just going uh, red orange yellow green blue and blue violet so just coloring it and I wanted a bright um, rainbow and this is the grass portion of the hillside pop-up stent um, die I really like this and um, I do mess it up in the in later on which I will show you and how I fixed it so I wanted a leprechaun because this is a team grads of team tiny leprechaun I'm sorry lucky and my vision was to have a leprechaun at the end of the rainbow with a pot of gold but I didn't have any leprechaun so I'm making this gnome I'm altering him to be a leprechaun I do not draw well at all and I just looked on my phone for leprechaun and I drew a top hat it's crooked but it'll do I'm happy with it and I wanted a cauldron or a pot of gold and I'm using this rub-a-dub-dub -dub bathtub and I'm using um, this is the same pen I used is a 0 0.5 Copic multi-liner for the leprechaun's hat and I'm just putting it together um, the um, bottom of the pot and the bubbles are is going to be my golden coins so I erased my pencil marks and I'm I'm not going to list the colors on the screen as I usually do I'll list them below um, but I just did very quick Copic coloring these are um, the leprechaun is pretty small but I just wanted to show you that if you don't have the exact stamp you need you can alter it and like you saw me do, I just um, 
you know, I, I didn't do the his hat. I didn't ink up his hat. So anyway, just colored him quickly to look like a leprechaun, a red headed bearded leprechaun. And now, sorry that the um, coins didn't get colored or filmed. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But um, I, again, I'll list it below the colors I used. I just used two yellows and I'm using C4, 7 and 9 for the pot. And I'm going to do, there's a lot of techniques in this um, little card here. So I stenciled it and now I'm going to, um, I forget what it's called. Oh gosh. But it's like, um, I'm just going to cut the lucky out of the inline. I forget. <laughs> I'm cutting it off the um, top panel and I will stack up the lucky right here and put it in. And I wanted to do the grass, kind of the colors of the um, paper pad, pattern paper. So I went through my um, swatch book to find three greens that kind of match. And this is what I came up with. The oxides in shabby shutters, mowed lawn, and crushed olive. So I'm just putting that on the grassy portion. And I will... Um, need it later on again and I'm just doing some droplets with the leftover ink that's on the pad so now I'm putting the rainbow together and this is just copy paper and I just put some double-sided glue from my ATG gun and I'm just going to be putting it on the um, on the copy paper but I didn't like how the sides had the white. So I'm going to go through each ring and put the color on using the same Copic. And I cut it down to size and I'm making an A2 size card. So that's what you saw me do. I cut that um, and folded it at four and a quarter. It'll be a top folding card. And now I'm making it more blingy using my uh watercolor and I forgot to show this in the beginning but I do use this uh, watercolor for the gold and I kind of lost the outline of the coins so I'm just doing a trick because I wanted to make sure I lined it up precisely so I just put a package a packaging and I stamped it on there and it was actually perfect so I just stamped it on the real image. So now I'm doing the hillside stencil and this also needs to be, um, cause I don't want it to be white because there's grass. So I am um, going to be stenciling the background. So the top will be the clouds using tumbled glass and my cloudy stencil. And I put a, a big piece of frog tape to protect the bottom where the grass is going to go. So I just uh, do it all the way down and then I add a little bit without the stencil so it's not just stark white. And now I'm going to go with the shabby shutters and do the um, put the foundation down. And I don't have to go all the way up because that hillside pop-up stencil will cover the top portion and this is where it needs to go also the green so it's not white and now i'm going back with the grass stencil and just adding some some grass blades to the hill i'm using the hillside grassy stencils and i, I flip it back and forth i so you you can get a lot of different um, looks and i'm doing that with all three colors of the oxides the same three greens that i used before and I realized that I needed to uh, later on that middle little portion I pop up portion I need to do green too now I want some sparkle on my rainbow so I'm using my liquid stardust one drop and two drops of water and I'm just onto my acrylic block and I'm just splattering that on the rainbow with some nice pretty colors and now I want to put I'm stamping the sentiment phrase which says 
to have you, lucky to have you as a friend. It's amazing that Rubber Dub Lucky um, stamp set had everything I needed. So look at your stamp sets and see how else you can use them. It was a little far apart, so I put them together using my the grid on my misty cover, and I'm stamping it using the Versafine Clear again in Nocturne. And I cut it down to size, and I wanted it to be a little um, dimensional, so I just put another piece of cardstock behind it. So it's just two layers, and I'm just adding the top panel to the card base, and I'm putting the raised Lucky. I put foam, uh, I cut it out of fun foam on the middle, white fun foam, and put my Misty on top as a weight, and that's done. So now I'm going to be putting the pop-up uh, grassy portion, and this is genius. So you can make these hillside pop-ups, um, pop dyes, anything you want. It comes in ocean waves, all kinds of stuff. So I'll show that later in my future videos. I want to use this more often. So you can see that little white portion. I did have to um, color that green. So I will do that off screen. And you can see that it's now green. Now this is where I mess up. I should have just used um, my Lawn Fawn double-sided tape because it's a lot, it's strong. So I, you put the glue or tape on the bottom and this is where I mess up. It had to go all the way down, but I didn't. So I put it right here and I put my Misty on it and look, it's the wrong spot. So now you can see that the, the pop-up portion has to go all the way down and it still wasn't the glue wasn't holding as nice as I would have liked so I added glue and double sided tape so those two green mess ups on the top is um, it's going to be fixed I'm going to add some clouds and the rainbow does um, cover one of it so it worked out well so I'm using the two um, these little clouds from little heroes uh, village and I'm gonna just stamp two of the bigger clouds and three of the smaller clouds color them really quickly with B0000 and cut them out using the dies and I'm just going to put that on and cover up that green easy peasy so just because you mess up don't give up don't start over think of how you can fix it. I put the rainbow there so I know where I want to put my other clouds. And there it is. Perfect. So there's big um, clouds on the background and puffy clouds on top. And now I'm just putting the rainbow where I want it to go. It doesn't have to go all the way down. And I'm putting my Teflon bone folder in there to make sure that it's got it has good contact to the back of the panel and oh I put the I didn't show but I put stickles on the gold coin so that it sparkles more and this cute leprechaun is sitting on top of his pot of gold and it's like he slid down the rainbow so he's kind of askew so he slid down the rainbow and he's sitting on his pot waiting for his friends to come by I'm just using my long trimmer scissors to cut the excess rainbow off and this is the finished card so there you can see it says lucky it's popped up a little bit and to have you as my friend and here's the leprechaun on that shiny rainbow slid down the shiny rainbow and that's it I hope you like my card sorry this video is quite long but I had so much fun making this. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to please go uh, click on the hashtag grads of Team Tiny Lucky to see all of us. There might not be too many, maybe just two or three of us, but we are so glad to be grads and um, have you join us. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you see all of our videos when it 
um, comes out. Please comment as we love to comment and interact with you. Let me know what else you want to see on my channel. Thank you again for being here. I appreciate you all so very much. And here's the inside of the card. Love it. Here's another video you might enjoy and a card making playlist. And as always, please click on my face to subscribe. Thanks everyone. Aloha.